Hi, I'm David. I am a junior at Central High School and I am in the percussion section. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the parts of the snare drum. What we have here, this is the batter head, the side of the head that you hit your stick with. And we have here the rim, which you can make all kinds of cool sound effects and stick shots, rim shots, all kinds of stuff. Then we have these little things called tension rods. And what hold the tension rods are these lug casings right here. We also have this, the wood part of the snare drum that's called the shell. Now we have right here the snare strainer, which is what turns the snares on and off of the snare drum. We have on the bottom here the snares, which make the snare sound, and then the snare head, which the snares make contact with. Okay. So anyway, let's 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 cover this part of the stick. So the top part of the drumstick where you actually hit the pad, as you saw I was doing, is called the bead. You can say it to yourself, you know, keep it in your head, yeah. Bead. Bead. Okay. So let's move down to this part, kind of the part where it's skinny and it gets fatter all the way down to here. This part right here, it's called the shaft. No, it's called the shoulder. But, 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 but. Yeah. Oh. Well. Red card! Okay. Well, so this is the shoulder. And this is called the shaft. I'm sorry, I get my shoulders and my shafts mixed up. Yeah. And this part of the drumstick, the bottom part, is called the butt. It is actually called the butt. Don't laugh. It's not funny, okay? If you're under 13 and watching this, hi. <laughs> so that covers all the parts of the stick.